Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and this video is going to help you solve a little problem in V-Carve if you find yourself trying to do V-Carving with letters. And as the machine is running, it, it does a funny little dig out in the corner where there shouldn't be a corner, and you're wondering what's wrong with these letters. Well, I just figured it out, and it has to do with nodes. So I'm going to give you this little tip that will help you solve or prevent a little problem that you may run into when you're v-carving letters so i'm going to dive into v-carve real quick and we are going to talk about this so you understand what i'm talking about and know how to stop a problem before it starts let's go all right i'm in v-carve and i have been working on this particular sign for quite some time fortunately it is not a rush job it's for a friend and i just want you to see what it is it's for a farm called Eris Group, and they wanted to make it, uh, me to make a logo sign, and they wanted their mission statement on it as well, using the font of their logo. So after some digging, I was able to find the font, and unfortunately, I cannot show you what it is because I've already broken the font up into... Um, I just wanted to see if I could into its into vectors. All right, so let's let's talk about this problem with nodes and get down to it. So I'm going to turn off some layers. Now you can see this font is kind of unusual. It's almost like a uh, crayon or a marker or something like that. And with fonts like this, there's unusual nodes put in. Now a node is something that vCarve uses to determine endpoints of lines and start points of next lines or how to make curves. So what I've done is I highlighted the letter and I clicked uh, the end button for Nancy or node and so you can see this letter right here it's got lots of nodes in it and when I ran this on my machine I was with, with a vCarving tool I was noticing the tool would come across and start to dive out at very unusual places, causing little outward cuts in the letter. Very uneven, unclear, not looking very good. And I wondered why it was doing that. So I went back into VCarve and I took a look at the node layouts of these letters and I started to see the pattern. So there are three kinds of nodes in VCarve. You have the curve node which is the blue one it's got the two flags on it and when these uh when you when you pull the flags it stretches out the circle or the, the line into a curve like that the thing is that's a continuous line so v card knows that that node is a continuous element and it will not try to uh, perform peculiar v card functions when the when it's generating the program Whenever it sees a black node, which there are two types, there's this one here that has one tab coming off of it, one flag, like that, and the other one which has no flags. These are considered corner nodes. So the one without any flags is considered a corner, even though this is not looking like a corner. When you come up close, you can see that this actually does make a turn, and that is technically a corner. If I was to draw a box right next to it, escape, go into node mode, you can see I've got a corner and it's a black node that is created with the exception of one green node. And just so you know, green node is, is the start point of any movement that the, uh, when, when it generates a program, it'll consider the green as a start point. So the black nodes without any flags or with a one flag is considered a corner so in this case we have a corner and an arc and you can see it's created a corner on one side and a, and a curve or an arc on the other side so what's going to happen when you generate this type of font and you're trying to do a v-carve is the tool is going to come around and it's going to dive out or come up above the material that the tool will effectively move like this up and out of the material effectively creating a little corner right in that area and that ruins the font 
The way to eliminate that is to go into Node, find all these black ones, and just hover over it while you're in Node mode. When you hit N, you'll go into Node mode. Hover over it and hit S, and that will smooth the node. Now, there's some cases where you don't want to do that. So I've got that one there. I'm going to hit S um, before I get to to why when you don't want to do that. I just want to show you some of the changes that will happen as we fix some of these up. Let's find a couple more black ones. There we are. So we got a little corner there. I don't want it to dive out. So I'm going to hit S, S, and every one of these with the exception of corners, actual corners. So, I want you to see this, Control z This is a case where when I go hit S button over this particular node, now you'll see this is a corner arc node, right? If I just hover over that, watch the line right here when I hit it. So I hover over it, I hit S, and it brings that arc up. So what it's done is created a smooth line going over to that node right there. So the tool will never exit out as uh, as if it's an unusual thing. So you might have to do a little doctoring up and fix some of these. Now I've got a little corner here. I'll leave that corner. So this is why there's some cases. If you have a corner in this font and it's characteristic of this font, if I come over here and hit S, watch the line. Okay, it loses its whole integrity of the font. So I have to Control Z that to undo Here's that. What I found. So go around on every one of your fonts when you have unusual looking fonts and start playing with your nodes. Get the black corner nodes out of there wherever you can except where you have a corner. And that will clean up your V carving when you're actually running the machine. So this is Garrett. If this helped you like the video, give me a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to know about VCarve and CNC for uh, beginners. So I do a lot of videos for that. All right. Have a great day.